if you go to college in the U.S., you have to be organized. Organized means everything in order. Can everybody say organized? Organized. Okay, organized means everything in order. When I go to class, I can find my paper, I go home, I remember my homework. Okay, so also, I think organizing is important for jobs. Your boss gives you a paper, tomorrow you say, oh, where is the paper? Where's the paper? So it's good for jobs, it's good for school, and it's good at home, too. So we're just going to talk about organizing materials, how we do it in our life, and how we can do it in school. questions and you can just make a few notes on your paper it's not writing so you can just make notes then after you finish thinking you're going to share your ideas with a partner and then you're going to talk together with everybody with a few ideas so let's look at the questions here um the rough one can you read question number one please what documents do you have to keep organizing your life at home at work Okay, so everybody just think for a minute. This is about your life. Okay, so this is just showing you you have a lot of experience already with organizing. Everybody think about this question and just make a few notes under question number one. Okay, so if I ask how do you organize them, for my teaching, I organize my documents in folders in a box. So now you're going to think about these documents in number one. How do you organize those documents in your life? What documents do you have to keep organized? You can ask your partner number one, and you're going to listen to your partner. You can ask your partner number one, and you're going to ask what documents do you have to This one has a divide, five divided spiral. Oh. Because sometimes, can I show yours? Spiral. Everybody look, this is a notebook, but this is not a spiral notebook. A spiral is this one. Yeah, new word. Everybody knows notebook? You didn't know spiral. Spiral yeah. notebook. What kind of syllabus is information or document, sorry. With all info about a class and usually the requirements of that class. <clears throat> so you always want to think, where is my syllabus? Read vocabulary with your partners, two minutes, check the pronunciation and check the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> or somewhere, it's your choice, okay? Then I have a divider. Everybody, divider. Divider. What is this divider? 
That's right. Good. So my first divider is my homework. All right, so every day when my teacher gives me homework, I open this divider and I'm going to put my homework in here. I put the homework. Behind here is my homework. So a lot of you are organized. Uh, something else I want to show your uh, materials and how you organize. Are you okay? She's feeling shy. Can I show? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come with me, okay? And we're just going to show it. This is Sanyo. All right. What does she have in the front? Schedule. Schedule. Yeah, I didn't even have that one. You have a schedule. Good. She's got her schedule. And then, what did she use? What is this? Uh, no. Uh, Divider. 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 She used dividers. How many dividers does she have? Can you see? Two. two. She's got two. two. Here's one and here's two. Good. What's your first divider here? Uh, How, is it a good method for you? Yeah, it looks very organized. And then when you get a new paper, where do you put it? Do you put it in the front or in the back? Ah, interesting. So a new paper, she's going to put in the pocket in the back. And I see assignments, and I use my highlighter, and I put it on assignments. That's called highlight. Uh -huh. Not under, not above, but I actually put it on. So read the article, get the meaning, and highlight the vocabulary words as you go. Then we'll check the meaning together. I just make a group of three. And you're going to read and understand the article together. Your choice. Maybe you read the first part, you read the next part, however. Okay? What they suggest is read one section, maybe you read number one, and then you stop and you use that strategy, what do we understand, and where are we confused. Help each other understand, I got it, go on to number two. Okay. In your team, as you're going, you have to prepare one idea you really like from the whole article mm -hmm. and one thing you don't understand. Okay? So when you finish in your teams, we're going to take about 10 minutes in the teams. After 10 minutes, I'm going to say, what is your team good idea and what is your team's question? The team really like the number two. Okay. Can you read it and tell us why you like it? Okay. Um, chron chronological Perfect. in order by it, uh, put each document in, in the back of your file or put each new document in the front of your file. Yeah, why do you like that idea? Uh, because um, Every time we got the uh, new new paper from here, yeah. and then we had to uh, write the date and put the paper in front of your buyer or in back of your buyer. That's why we got it. Document organization, and then listen and repeat. Evaluation. 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 Evaluation means that we check. How is it? Okay? It's sort of like a test. So evaluation means that we're going to check your organizing and say, how is it? All right? We always do something that we call do. Everybody, do. Do. This means when do you have to finish this? Our due date is November 3rd. When you go to college, Everything they give you in college has a due date. So today, you're going to evaluate yourself. And then on the weekend, you're going to organize your things. You're going to improve your organizing. And then on Monday, you're going to bring it, and you're going to show a classmate. And then you're going to show me. And we're all going to evaluate your organizing. Over here, we have something called standards. Everybody, standards. 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 Good. This means what is good. Everybody say standards. Standard. What is good? What is good? Okay, so this is good organizing. Yeah. Class papers are organized in a binder or folder. Okay? So here's what you're going to do. This is you. 
Everybody touch self. self. Okay, the first column is self. Today, before you organize more stuff. All right. Here's how we're going to evaluate. Look above the chart. What does five mean? Yeah, really oh, five is very good. That's the top. How about you, Heaven? What is your uh, idea for improving? I will organize everything. All right, so this is vocabulary practice. All oh, students, please read the instructions. Good. Where are we going to write it? Good. All right, so we look at this one. What is this? Three Three Good. No, not No. We love this one. No, no. Alphabetical. Alphabetical. What does that mean? <coughs> the attendance is in alphabetical order. It's easy for you to find your name because all the names are A, B, C by left. This is the hard one. Chronological. Chronological. We're going to practice putting these cards in order. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good. Page 22. Get it organized. All right. So now this is about you, right? We're going to start thinking about how can I get organized with my materials. You're going to read the question here, and then you're going to write about you. And then you're going to write your answer to that question. You can say easy. You can say so-so. You can say difficult. Easy. Everybody's different, right? You write your answer for you. So, um, basically what we're doing here is we're thinking about the system that you want to put in place. So, you want to read number one? Good. So what do you like to use? Do you like to use a binder or a folder? Okay, good. So you just can X that one. Great. What's the second question?